having those scenes that you get done in just two to three takes really will save you. What's up guys, Benjamin here. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how I made my first feature film, Rosetta Stone, in eight days. In the studio system, they generally make films in roughly 90 production days. We did ours in eight. But really, at the end of the day, we were able to accomplish it without too much stress. And I'm gonna to talk to you today about some of those ways that you can make your feature film in eight days. Number one, planning. Shot lists, storyboarding, rehearsals. It was just all so important to make sure that we could get everything done and come prepared to set. Really when the actors are off book and they know exactly what I'm looking for, that just saves so much time. Like when we know exactly where the camera's gonna be set up, where audio will be standing, what the lighting's gonna look like. Coming to set with all this down to a T really helped a ton in making sure that the movie could be filmed in the eight days that we had to film it. Number two, limited locations. I hear a lot of people talking about that you should only have one or two locations for the whole film. And I don't necessarily agree with that because you have different days to film, but I would say keeping locations to a minimum per day, as in like maximum two locations and really try to do just one location per day is really huge. With Rosetta Stone, we had four different locations and of the eight days, only one of them, we actually moved locations. And that's really huge when you're not moving equipment and having to do a ton of different setups throughout different locations. That will really save you a ton of time. Number three, limited takes. There were a ton of scenes in the movie where we got everything we needed in just two takes. And that's not to say that there weren't times that we did three, four, five. I mean, we even did up to 10 takes in a couple of scenes, but really we were averaging out probably about three or four takes per scene. And really getting everything you need in two to three takes is huge. So it allows for later with a more difficult scene where you may need more takes or a scene where you're really getting something with each take and you wanna see it out a little bit more with more takes. Having those scenes that you get done in just two to three takes really will save you. And then lastly, long days. Most of the production days for Rosetta Stone were about 12 hours long and we really used about all 12 hours. But when you have a cast and crew and everyone's all on the same board and everyone's into what you're doing, 12 hours are a lot of fun and it doesn't feel as grueling as a 12 hour day. Granted, we did have hour long breaks for lunch and dinner. So on the 12 hour days, we were only technically working for 10 hours, but we really needed all 12 hours in the end to make sure that we got everything we needed each day. Anyways, that's how I made Rosetta Stone in eight days. And you know, I, I've heard people making feature films in even shorter periods of time. I mean, I even know of a filmmaker that made a film in two days and it turned out great. But yeah, I wouldn't let anyone tell you that you need at least 30 to 90 days to make your film or you shouldn't even bother making one if you don't have this set period of time. And really, I think that's all just bullshit and I wouldn't let naysayers tell you what you can and can't do. Hope this video was helpful, and I'd be curious in the comments below if you have experience shooting films in eight days or less. What's the shortest you've ever shot a film in?